Welcome along guys. Well, I am in Bury St Edmunds. <laughs> what on earth am I doing in Bury St Edmunds, you may ask? Well, I've come all the way to ride this machine. This is the new Brutale 1000 RR. This is a 208 horsepower naked. 26 and a half thousand pound just going up in a couple of months time to 27 and a half thousand pound i've been just been told carbon fiber straight four engine 186 miles an hour is what mv say this thing can reach wings beautifully finished i'm very excited to ride this bike see you back here in uh, 20 seconds after the intro see you in a minute feels lovely very sporty feeling the seat is rock hard so this isn't the first MV I've ever ridden I've ridden the F3800 before many years ago I've ridden the Brutale 800 RR when I was uh, doing a bit with PB I'm sort of used to it I sort of know what to expect with an MV the 800 it's around town manners weren't very good and it only really worked when you unleashed the bike and you really wrestled the bike and took command of the bike. That's when it really worked. Already, this one, just riding through this little town, it, it feels really well mannered. It's, it's in sport mode. I think it, all it has is sport, rain or race. A bit like the Tuono, you know, it's no denying what this bike is all about. But just through the town there, that felt very nice. Naked for me have to have a lot of character. The Super Duke's a twin, you know, it's got that instant grunt, it's got character. The Street Fighter's a V4, again, it's got that character, it's got that sound. Straight falls can be, I don't know if they're exciting enough to be in a naked, but if anyone could pull it off, <laughs> it's gonna be a V. Turn right. It's the trouble with test riding bikes, you don't know the area at all. You're relying on the sat nav telling me where to go, so I have to keep stopping to listen to the sat nav if I'm in mid flow, so you'll have to excuse me if I do that. It does make it a little bit more tricky. If you're taking it on road, you know, of course, you can just ride and concentrate without having to concentrate so much. But anyway. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, it suddenly just picks up about 8,000. 208 horsepower this is. As I power it up, I'm getting a hot bar, it's like burning my, my ass, all the exhaust fumes coming out. <laughs> I love it as a thing, I absolutely love it. Suspension is fully electronic, it's got, you know, the latest Olin's electronic suspension, I think it's the EC2 system, so when you, when you go through the modes between sport and race, that's obviously adjusted, turn right, oh bugger. The ride is firm, but unlike the old bike, which was a real back brake, you know, you jar your fillings out of the old bike. This electronic stuff, this Olin's, has given it that 
plushness as, plushness as well as the sharpness. <laughs> Terrible English job day. I really like it. It's this just, you know, it's just full. It's brimming with character and flair. I'd, I'd love to hear it with some exhaust on, but even, even with a completely stock, it sounds absolutely fantastic. It's got separate wheelie control from the traction control. We're, like I say, we're in sport at the moment. Hang on, let, let's, let's try and put it in race. I think you press that one. Sport rain, we don't want rain. Come on. How long, how much, how much time you got to press it? Hold it down. Race. That basically sharpens up the throttle response. Sharpens up the suspension even more. 0.4 miles turn left. She's telling me. Turn <sighs> right, what are you talking about? I've gone wrong again. She's taking me around in circles. Turn right. Now turn left. Actually, I mean, these are clip-ons. These aren't actually your normal bars which nakeds have. These are actually clip-ons. That's why it's a bit low at the front. I've only just really noticed these are clip-ons and not, and not naked high bars, you know? This is like a comfortable sports bike. It's that sort of position. Around in the town, I'm noticing I have got a fair bit of weight on the wrists, actually. It's sort of a similar riding position to the GSX-R1000 or something. It, it's not particularly naked-like. You know, it's, it's not a, you know, give up the sports bikes, get naked because they're more comfortable. This is actually quite a cramped naked. This has been set up with one thing in mind, performance, which is where I think the other nakeds are done, to, you know, to be comfortable. An alternative to a sports bike, this seems like it's... The only thing different between this and a sports bike, it doesn't have any fairing on it. <laughs> it hasn't got high bars. You've got weight on your wrist because that is the best way to get the feedback from the front wheel to be sat over it a little bit. So this is what MV have done. They've just made this absolutely about performance. Does she sound beautiful though? Look at this. It feels so lively. Why am I coming through an industrial estate? What is going on? <laughs> yeah, race mode on these roads. It may be a little bit too hard. I'm going to go back to sport. <laughs> Turn right. <laughs> Front brake is beautiful. Wheelie control is on level one at the moment. It's, it's razor sharp. It is absolutely razor sharp feeling. The handling. It feels like you're on a bit of a knife edge. Whee! That's a bend. <laughs> One point one miles, slight left. It's like a rally stage without telling me which way to go. Left, tight right, five. It's like the 800 RR. I think you have to be aggressive with it a little bit to get it to perform. If, if you're half-hearted with it, I think it could be a little bit on the edge. You know, it, it, I think it, it wants it wants commitment from the rider. We want past him as quick as possible. Without question, it's something very special. Of course, the price demands it to be something rather special. It's not going to be your everyday bike, this. Not, not a £26,500 for a naked. You know, you think the Ducati Street Fighter S at 20 grand is a lot of money. That's a bargain <laughs> by comparison with this. Oh, the suspension.
section is hard. Hard, hard, hard. The quick shifters and the blipper is very precise. There's no slop in the lever. It almost feels like it hasn't got one. You know, and you're just, <laughs> obviously it has, but that's the sort of feel. You're directly in gear, very, very fast. You can barely even hear the bike sort of blip itself or, or kill the throttle. You know, it's almost instant. It's a very aggressive quick shift. The whole bike is just aggressive. You know, everything about it is aggressive. Let's see if we can try and dominate it a bit around here. Like. The front end is very lively. It doesn't feel overly stable. It feels very much on the edge, that front end. Not like a lot of bikes where the front end is just solid. This is, this is lively. Slightest shift of body weight and you're changing your line. You know, it is, it is on the edge. I don't want to go this way, that way look better. No, 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 nationals! It is something special. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Jeez, jeez, Jiminy jeez. They do just sound divine, don't they, MVs? MV know how to make a motorcycle sound incredible. All of their bikes sound absolutely incredible. I don't know how they do it, I don't know what magic fairy dust they sprinkle on the engines, but they always sound absolutely amazing. But I have to say, the around town manners are absolutely lovely. I mean, it's not perhaps quite as well fueled as the Super Duke. I'll bring that bike up again as that is my benchmark for the ultimate naked at the moment. So it's not quite as well fueled as that, but it's still, for an MV, <laughs> it's incredible. Oh, I've got a few little twisties here. It changes direction incredibly well. I mean, like I say, it is, it is so nosy. It's so lively on the front. I mean, the front doesn't feel stable. The front is its on a knife edge, which means you can change direction incredibly fast. <laughs> There's a left. But it also makes it, you know, mid-corner, it feels a little bit unstable. You know, any, any change of body position unsettles the bike a little bit. I think it's definitely a bike you need to, as I said, grab by the horns and just push it into corners. Power-wise, because it's a straight four, because you've got that build-up of speed, I mean, it's got a pretty good initial shove, don't get me wrong, but it's not like a twin, it's not like a V4. Because it's a bit slower to build up, it actually feels, doesn't feel as much as a handful, as like the Street Fighter, where it's got less power. No, no, okay, it's only got about five brake horsepower less. So this is 114 newton meters of torque. So I can't remember what the Street Fighter was torque. I know the KTM is like 140 newton meters. So you don't get that initial uh, shove with the straight four, which I think makes it feel a little bit more do docile, but until you get it past eight grand, and then it absolutely wakes up. Jesus, smell that. The smell of the earth. In a good way. I don't mean shit. The bike is covered in splatterings of carbon. Absolutely everywhere. We'll do the walk around in a minute and we'll give you a good look. Because this, I mean, this bike is all about the details. Ooh, that could be quite a good place to walk around in there, actually. There she is. <laughs> Beautiful looking thing. You can't deny, whatever you may say about this, you can't deny that it's not pretty sexy. 
The wings on the front, it's got these scoopy type wings, not the camera, not the Insta360 over there. But these, these scoops again, you know, they give a lot of downforce when you're going silly fast. One thing MV say, you know, this bike will do 186 miles an hour. I, I don't think I'd like to test that. I don't think I'd like to try and hold on to this bike at 186 miles an hour. But it's an impressive figure nonetheless for a naked. Look at those exhausts. A four into one into four. <laughs> it's amazing. It's, it's mental. It just looks mental. All of this is carbon fibre, the, 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 the clocks are sort of on this billet, anodised black billet surround, you've got the Olins suspension, you've got more carbon, matte carbon fibre all around the headlights, the headlights got this like little red elements inside, looks really nice, massive yokes, massive sturdy yokes on the Olins suspension, oh look at that. Even the bottom of it is, is sort of more shiny. It's almost like the, uh, you know, unfinished finish to it, like a shiny aluminium, a bit like the uh, sort of the track-based Olin's kit they make. You know, it looks a bit more fancy than even the standard Olin's you see on Ducatis and stuff. The scoops with more carbon here, more matte carbon, all matte carbon in here, matte carbon down here as well. It's just carbon everywhere. The side scoops again, all matte carbon, all matte carbon under the tank. Even the engine covers, again, carbon fibre. Also is quite a nice little touch on these. These are all sort of assembled by one person. So not all MVs are like that, but these are all assembled. So there's one person's name gets stamped on the bike. One person is responsible for this machine. The whole seat, it's like two bits of chicken fillets sat on a base of carbon fibre. That is your seat, basically. The rear sets, as I mentioned, they're all billet. Undo that, they're all adjustable standard. The only thing I don't like is the switch gear looks a bit nasty. Looks a bit cheaper nasty, that bit of switch gear. Not overly, it's got a nice feel to the buttons, but I can't help but feel that the finish on that plastic is not really a £26,000 bike type finish. The key is in front of the clocks, which makes it quite hard to switch on when you're on the motorcycle. We'll just look at the TFT. The TFT's nice. You know, it's uh, nowhere is found. That's always a bonus. You know, it's not the best TFT I've ever seen. It, you know, I like the rev counter layout, just a great big rev counter. But, you know, it's got everything you need on it. It's not bad. An Italian bike with a fuel gauge. That's a first, isn't it? It may not have heated grips or cruise control, but at least it's got a fuel gauge. So there we are, there she is, a beautiful thing. I think you'll agree. So let's jump back on. A lot of the annoyances I've felt with MV MVs in the past, this doesn't have them. Doesn't have them. Lovely clutch feel, lovely throttle response, braking's very nice. There's no shuddering, you know, it's all, it's all very, very good actually. As a package, it's all up there. I'm not spotting anything which could be annoying after a while on the bike. It's a very nice ride. I say it's, it's not, you wouldn't really call it comfortable. It's more comfortable than a sports bike, but only marginally. You're only going to use this when you go out for one reason and one reason only. This isn't a touring naked. This is a naked to get your adrenaline fix on. <laughs> that is it. This is to basically top up your levels of adrenaline in your bloodstream. This is a hell of a way to do it. But there we go guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. <laughs> I must say a massive thank you to Crazy Horse Motorcycles you know, the MV dealers, Indian, I'd like to ride one of the Indians as well, I've not ridden an Indian yet, <laughs> who were misses. So massive thanks to Crazy Horse Motorcycles, really appreciate it, I'll put links below, go check them out. But that's it guys, thanks for watching, really appreciate it, take care, ride safe, and I'll see you soon. This is power level one, which is full power. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
down here. <laughs> I told you I was scared back there. Whoa! I've never dropped a bike before in my life. Whoa! <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> Listen to me. Exit four. Oh, Mackey's. One, two, three, four. Exit two. Sorry, got to listen to the directions now. Mackey's. Mackey D's. Mackey D's for lunch. Mind you, I did have Mackey D's for breakfast, so maybe pushing it.